Welcome back to Let's Play the Knife of Dunwall, the DLC chapter for Dishonored. I'm Burning Dog Face. Can I step on this? I can! Uh oh. I need to, uh. I need to do something here. I need to get rid of this man and his friend. <clears throat> I just need to know where that other guy is. Should have acted. I knew it, but... What the fuck is this doing up here? I heard the Royal Protector busted out of Coldridge. Think we could take him? Shut your blowhole and get back to work. No, no, I don't think you could take him. He's pretty fucking <laughs> hardcore. Boy, I bet he could destroy you with his charming personality alone. Oh god, which way am I even facing? Okay. Time is frozen. There's the guy. I'm over here now. I just wanted to store him in here, so... More of these I have, less of them they have, I guess. Christ, he's right opposite a window. And that would be the chair. Stuff them under this table. It's actually really dark here, so I don't know that anyone would actually notice them. Even ignoring the fact that one of them is wearing a fucking strobe light. Oh man! That uh, entrance under the dock. I wonder if that's how I get to the sewer one. Entrance to the fa to the factory, I mean. Anton Sokolov's lab journal. Vivisection of the third live specimen is almost complete. Careful perforation of the lower lower diaphragm has brought me closer to observing secretion of the oil. The process retains its mystery. This creature has weakened considerably since its capture and its output is quite low. I've attached electrical stimulators to the beast. A mild current increases output by 20% to the considerable complaint of the whale, I might add. Increasing the voltage will likely kill the creature, so further exploration will have to wait in a stronger specimen. For now, the music continues. Sokolov, you're a goddamn sociopath. I know what this is. A makeshift interrogation chair. Rothwild must be using it to coerce employees. Okay, that startled the Jesus out of me. I, the undersigned, agree to renounce... <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry about that. All those, uh... 
impressions of Sokolov are doing bad things to my throat. Ah, that's better. Ahem. Worker signatures. I, the undersigned, agree to renounce any association with any employee union, to abstain from discussing such matters at any time, and to promptly report any co-workers that encourage union views. I agree that all grievances will be taken up with Bundry Rothwild and his staff in an open and fair manner. Gerald Harper. Richard Moser. J.A. Manderley. Sylvia Proctor. Lawrence Spinner. Maddie Cranston. Strap self into chair. Ah, oh, right, I don't have that bone charm anymore. Drink. That's the main floor. Whale song is my anthem. Sing, fishy, sing. Reduced to once again peeking through keyholes. I honestly, I don't know how, uh, Dowd got this far without upgrading Void Gaze. That's what it's called, right? Yes, yeah, Void Gaze. Laborers, my generous offer stands. Half pay and a dozen lashes. Shit, shit, shit! Sleep. That wasn't the sound of his heart exploding or whatever. Seems to me that heading deeper is a good idea. You know, scavenging crap to sell on the black market for coins? All the scavenging felt like it made more sense when it was Corvo working with the underground resistance against the entire regime, rather than Dowd. Nope! Oh, I can just look around, huh? I 
still get there! Recover the rune from a maintenance tunnel inside the slaughterhouse. Well, in the middle of a strike, I can't imagine the records office will be of very high demand. So for the time being, I'll just leave you right there. Oh yeah! Shit. City Watch Pistol, modern firearm used by City Watch officers, veterans, and the gentry. Dowd's Wrist Bow, a silent concealed weapon crafted from the finest materials, used to launch bolts, sleep darts, and explosive bolts. Mercy's Grace, a razor sharp blade used by Dowd's men. Choke Dust. A metal canister filled with unrefined whale oil. On contact, it releases a noxious cloud that temporarily disables enemies. Arc Mine, a whale oil powered device that discharges a lethal electrical arc into whatever triggers it. Can be locked onto most surfaces. Contains enough whale oil to be triggered multiple times. Small-scale explosive refinement, a chemical process that enables explosive properties. You can use this to upgrade your bolts, enabling them to explode on contact. Compact arc amplifier, method for conducting massive quantities of electrical energy through a compact and concentrated delivery device. It allows you to use arc mines that electrocute those who come too close. I gather that's the sound of the saw being disabled. Because they don't seem to have the saws on their bodies and they don't drop them.
hate. Why did we just kill her? Drop her in the cannery. No one ever knows. You don't think. Bundry knows she'd be a martyr. A what? Like the Empress. She's dead, but they put her face on posters forever. They still care about her. So what are you gonna do? I'm not doing nothing, but Mr. Rothwild has her in his office right now. He'll work things out. Yeah, I hope you're right, but if she mouths off to me, she's whale meat. Okay, that's an issue. Hello, oh, what have we here? Both oh, a welcome diversion. Path I need. Hello. Excellent. And with this rune, I can upgrade Void Gaze to the same level as uh, Corvo's maxed out uh, Dark Vision, plus the handy ability to see runes and uh, bone charms. Level 2. See in the dark and see useful objects and security systems through walls. See living beings through walls as well, including their fields of vision. Representations of the sounds you make are also visible. Fuck yes I do. Arcane Bond. Share your powers with your assassin allies. At level 1, assassins will benefit from blink and vitality. This means they can teleport and get an increase in health. At level 2, assassins benefit from bend time and shadow kill. When your bend time power is active, assassins move at normal speed. With shadow kill, enemies turn to ash instead of leaving a body. That's actually a pretty rad uh, image. Power. Summon Assassin. As Dowd, summon assassins do you join you in combat. Hold left trigger to target a location or an enemy. Release left trigger to summon an assassin ally. Your assassin will, uh, will uh, choose the nearest enemy and attack. If you targeted an enemy, the assassin will attack that character first, then move on to other nearby enemies. If the assassin is summoned with nobody nearby to attack, he will stick around for a while before disappearing. Mana consumption medium. I can't remember if it made that little that little whispering sound when I used it before. Uh Oh. Yes, I know where I am. You clean all the guts off the killing floor. If I say yes, you would have closed the Okay, let's loop around. Jump cut. <laughs> Snack break. Feeding the mind. The eighth stricture. Don't piss off the butchers. Let me 
bullets. There's a lever on the wall. Okay, that wasn't supposed to happen. Well, I was gonna finish the video by seeing if, uh, what's-her-name did that little speech again. But I think this seems like an appropriate time to end it, too. I'm Burning Dogface, and this has been Let's Play The Knife of Dunwall, the DLC chapter for Dishonored. Tune in next time when Dowd comes back from the dead, and we get back to the business of securing this slaughterhouse, newly empowered with the return of Dark Vision. Later!